Hey everyone, this video is going to be the same footage as the Happy New Year video, but with more typical explanations of what's going on in case anyone is interested. Obviously, this project is going to be making a brand that can burn the words Happy New Year 2018 into a piece of wood. I'm starting with a small chunk of inch and a quarter aluminum round stock. First, I'm going to face off, drill, and tap one side with an M6 by one thread to attach a handle. The other side just gets a quick facing cut. Next, I just used a simple online image editor to create the text I wanted to have on the brand. An important thing to note is to flip the text so it's mirrored, otherwise the branded imprint will be backwards. I then cut several copies in case of mistakes using a vinyl cutter which I'll link in the description if anyone is interested. Since I want the brand to ideally just burn the letters into the wood, those need to be raised from the rest of the surface and sticking the vinyl letters onto the aluminum chunk will protect those areas. This next part has to be done carefully in a well ventilated area. I'll be submerging the aluminum part of the brand in a small container of muriatic acid, which is effectively dirty hydrochloric acid, which is pretty gnarly stuff to spill or touch, so make sure the container is acid proof. The etching part of the process actually went much faster than I thought it would, but be careful, the reaction between the acid and the aluminum is putting off hydrogen gas, which is extremely flammable, and carbon monoxide, which is not good to breathe. After a few minutes, I rinsed the part in a relatively large bath of water to dilute the strength of the acid to negligible. Also, be sure not to ever add water to acid. Once etched, I hit it with the wire wheel quickly to clean off the vinyl from the brand. The acid was strong enough to rapidly dissolve the aluminum, but is no match for the vinyl letters. This caused all the surfaces of the brand to end up seemingly retracted while leaving the surfaces covered by the vinyl their original height. And that's it! Add a little heat without burning your hands and put it on some wood. I think starting with a bigger diameter or using a smaller logo would have helped keep the edges of the letters sharp. Also, leaving it in the acid for longer would have made it easier not to burn a circle in the wood with the letters, but for something quick, I think it worked out pretty well. Thanks for watching, hopefully this was helpful. Hit that thumbs up if you liked it, and be sure to subscribe if you're not already.